What's good, everybody? It's your boy Sweet Vanguard here, and we back again with another unboxing video for the Nintendo Switch accessory, the Hyperion wireless controller. So let's get into the video. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications on if you're new, and I just can't wait until we get into this. So I've been using these, uh, this pro controller, and not really pro controller, but using these uh, little grips that I have for here. Like, it's it's cool, it's decent, but other than that, I mean, I wanted to find something else that was somewhat better for my liking, but at the same time, I was like, you know what, if this was going to be something that I can hold, and I can, because like, I do have big hands, so at the same time, I was like, you know what, if this is going to be something I can use for a long time, I would, I would really hope to be able to use it, but I don't know, it's so flat little thin so i was like you know what i'm just gonna have it like that so i'm gonna unbox the hyperion wireless controller so let's get into that hopefully that this is a little bit better than the ones i have already and if it's not then i just really bought a wrong purchase and i'm really hoping i didn't oh it comes with a ub a usb a Two U B uh U S uh yeah yeah U uh U S B C two okay but I'll take that oh shoot there's nothing in the box comes with the little dongle I wouldn't really call it a dongle but it just comes with this and it comes with a pamphlet of showing you what it looks like. But we're gonna show you that right now, so we don't really care about the manual. We never do. So we're gonna, you know, unbox it real quick. Do that. There's that. And now put that right back on top. Put that back. It's... All right, folks. First things first. We're gonna click it on together. So that's what it looks like. That's what it likes when it's turned on. Of course, it's not gonna find nothing yet because, like I said, I haven't compared. I ain't paired it to the actual uh, Nintendo Switch, so of course not. It does not have the the little back buttons right here. It doesn't have that. The one thing that I'm that I love, cause I hate these little little things that stick out. I hate that. Like I've always hated that. So take these off. Uh, so like compared this side, like this, just the side, just the side, like right here, the little grip part compared to that right there, much different. It's like a much better difference compared to the way you hold it, especially if you have big hands. That's something that you would love to have. I'm glad that I actually invested in this. So, and it feels good in my hands, like especially that little round part, like it feels really good in my hands. Adaptive triggers. Look at that. That was the top. It still feels good. All the buttons. No stick drift. Hall effect uh, stick drift. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like The D-pad seems uh, decent. Everything else seems straight. So we're going to do this. Put that over there. We don't really need that right now. And then get the Nintendo Switch. Is that we're gonna apply it, and that's what it looks like right now. So now they both are paired. Now, nah, because they both are paired, now we can actually go inside and actually take a look at what we have on the system itself. All right, so of course, I had to get. Unicorn Overlord. That's a, it's a decent game. I like it. I haven't got through the whole story just yet, but I'm loving it right now. These are all the games I have currently on the system. So, of course, I got Overlord. I got Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Ball Z. And I got, of course, I got Battle Spirits. I got the first Vanguard. And I haven't got Dear Days. Like, I got a couple games that I like playing. 
And I got some games that I play with all my PSP games that's on here too. But I don't really like emulation on the Nintendo Switch other than just buying new games that come out on Tinfoil. Like I said, I love the Nintendo Switch and I love the accessories that you get. This, for, like I'm saying like this right here, the controller, if it it feels, honestly, it feels nice, bro. Like that right there feels nice. Especially the removable back buttons. I mean, not removable, you know, but just the back buttons themselves that you can program right here. And then on top of that, it just, just it feels good in your hand, bro. Like that right there just feels nice in your hand. Other compared to this, that is flat. That is thin, bro. There's no way in hell I'm, I'm supposed to use this on a damn daily basis and then be okay. Look, that's that's how I'm holding it, bro. Like, dead ass. I'm holding it like this with two of my fingers. Like, like that. I'm holding it like that, bro. Like, that's, that's crazy compared to, like, I'm holding it like this. Like, I, I, I actually controller. So I'm like, yes, that's something I like. Something I can actually get into. All the buttons work. I'm glad. But other than that, that's the uh, accessory that I wanted to show y'all. I'm glad that all y'all got to watch it. So remember to like, subscribe. Let me know in your comments below. Would y'all would this be an investment you would get, especially if you wanted a better version of the Nintendo Switch? But uh, honestly, I would definitely would re recommend getting a modded Nintendo Switch so that I heard that Yuzu got taken down the emulator and I heard the whole, you know, law case that was going on with Nintendo. So I was like, you know what? I don't, I didn't really use emulators like, or at least the Nintendo Switch emulator like that. So I've been on the modded scene because I love that you can download all your favorite games, all the new games and everything like that. So I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just play like this, like I've always have and play all the good games and never have to worry. So that's just my opinion on that. But let me know in the comments below if y'all would get anything like this or the Nintendo version. Because I might end up, if it ever goes back on sale, I might just return this and get the Nintendo version. Or at least the GameCube version and just be good with that. But other than that, remember to like, subscribe, turn the post notifications on, and I got y'all in the next video. Peace.